Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be trying, testing, and reviewing the brand new Nikita and Morphe palette, along with the Nikita and Morphe brushes. In this video, I didn't get to use all of the brushes, but the brushes that I did use worked very well. They're very soft brushes and I absolutely love that, so that, that's great. The Morphe and Nikita palette. First, right, let's just take a look at this packaging. I just love this packaging. Morphe is one of those brands that I've always been obsessed with, that I've always bought from. I have so many Morphe products that I've tried and I just I just love Morphe. Now Nikita, of course, did a little collab with Morphe. Just look at these shades. This palette just screams thousands Maybe not thousands, okay? <laughs> That's an exaggeration. This palette just screams so many different looks that you can create. One being the look that I created today. I obviously couldn't create all the looks that I would create with this palette in one video, so be sure to follow me on Instagram, and I'll be uploading a lot of videos creating different looks with this palette. Now, to get into this video, and to see the look that I created today, keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to leave a like, and I hope that you enjoy this video. So excited to use and try this. I, do you know what it is? In general, I just love Morphe. I literally have a drawer full of just Morphe palettes. Like I've always bought them. And I saw this palette and I was like, okay, I want it, I get it. The colors in it are just so beautiful. Like. I love how you've got, at the top, you've got, like, your transitional shades, your browns, your oranges, um, you've got your golds, your bronzes, you've got blue shimmers, you've got green shimmers. There's just so much about this palette that I love, and I actually cannot decide what colour to use. First, let's go in with the transitional shade. Um, let's go in with the shades... Let's go in with these two. And of course, I'm using the brand new Nikita and Morphe brushes. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia brush just because I'm way too used to the big fluffy brush that I constantly use. I know I'm not really saying much, but because I literally, as I say, I literally have a drawer full of Morphe palettes. I've always sworn by them, I've always bought them, and that's because I love how, I just love Morphe palettes. I've always loved the palettes, I've always loved the formulas, I've always loved how they blend, the colours, everything. As soon as I saw this palette, I was like, I need to get it, I have to get it, I just have to. And I am, so far, loving. The, the formulas and the pigments don't change, so I'm kind of just now doing a look, like, I'm not even thinking about, is it blendable? Is it pigmented? Is it a good formula? Does it sit nice? Because I already know all that from literally buying and trying so many Morphe palettes. So right now, we are just kind of working with a look from the Nikita and Morphe palette itself. I love this deep, rich brown shade. It is so beautiful. One thing we can talk about is the brushes. Now, I do have some Morphe brushes. But these brushes feel so soft, like, the brush itself feels so light, like, I love how light it feels, like, it's so easy to use, but the actual bristles are so, so soft. You know you get some brushes where you feel like they're jagging you? This is literally so soft. <sighs> There's so many shades I want to use. I literally want to go in with this green, I want to go in with this blue, I want to go in with the silver, I want to go in with the gold. Green and the blue are really catching my eye. I feel like I haven't done a green or a green, a green or a blue eye look in a while. I'm just gonna quickly swatch the two. It's the blue. Oh my gosh! Look at that. The blue. The 
blue and the green. Look how beautiful those two shades are. Oh my gosh. I think I need to go in with this blue. I need to go in with this blue shade. So the blue shade I'm going in with is called Azula. I just love the pigment so much. Guys, look at that pigment. Look how pretty that looks. I just love the vibrance of the shade. Like, look how bright and just like, I feel like it looks so mysterious. Okay guys, I'm gonna go away and just do the rest of my face and I will be back. Okay guys, so I'm back. Full so face is almost complete. I just need to go in with highlighter and some lipstick. I just wanted to show you guys how I buff out my lower lash line. So I'm gonna go in with the same, with the same, with the same shades that I use on top at the bottom. So first, seduction. Now I haven't put any mascara on my lower lashes yet either. Uh, you can do this before or after. I prefer to do my mascara after I've buffed out this because then it doesn't really get in the way. I feel like when I feel like when you have mascara on and buff it out, you kind of mess up the lashes a little bit. Temptation. I don't know, I just feel like it really brings the look together and it just looks so like bold. I don't know, I just, I love the finishing look, I love the look that it gives, it just, it's a lot more definition. Now I'm just going to go in with the shade Neck, which is this lovely white shimmer here. And I'm just going to use this in the inner corner. Oh wow, look how that looks. That is so beautiful. It just completes the look. I love it. So just to finish the look, I've went in with the Huda Beauty Spice Girl Lip Liner and the Huda Beauty Spice Girl um, Demi Semi Matte. Um, I've also just added some Anastasia and Amrezi Highlighter. As I said, I've already tried so many Morphe palettes and I already have so many Morphe palettes that I feel like from the start I was already going to love this palette. I love the, the colour range in this palette. You've got You've got so many different shades and so many different looks that, that you can that you can create. So that's definitely the main thing that I love about this palette. I'm definitely going to be making loads of looks with this palette. So make sure that you do follow me on Instagram. And I hope you guys did enjoy this look. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.